Punnett Square. What is genetics look like? Devon 3K right now. The Punnett Square with the BB and the PB and the I think different... it's the uppercase and lowercase. I don't know. I just taught a lesson on it. You did? Yeah. You're smart like that. I love that for oh my you. God, stop. Because you're literally like so talented. But you're like, let's so talk about pretty. it. Look oh my at god. Hair. Amazing. Oh my god. Literally, honestly, we're all amazing. And honestly, let's look at this game because honestly, we have Hyra and Mithra. Mithra again. Devon 3K is one and only Pokemon trainer. Let's go. Oh man, when you get caught in that Mithra. You are down, down to get some damage. That up there, those dash attacks. And you know what? Same thing goes with Squirtle. Squirtle has their own, um, their fair share of uh, combos and strings. Mm -hmm. But right now, Devin's having a little. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was so good on Mouse Silver's part right there. Oh my god! I think everyone was like a little. I was a little shocked. I was like, "What animation is this from Squirtle?" And you know, it's the. It's that one. And here's the thing, too, because these are two very fast characters. Squirtle's a very small character at that. But we also have, you know, um, Pyra or Pithra. Wait, wait. I don't remember their names, Mithra. Sorry. <laughs> Um, she's also a very fast character, so this is, for the most part, going to be a battle of attrition who's faster and who can do the most damage. Yeah, Which is looking like it is Mithra, because right, right. She, she just does things. But that doesn't mean that, like, Devin can't do a lot of damage with Squirtle and then switch out when it's really yeah, needed. Yeah, absolutely. Devin's having a quite a difficult time just finding some sort of proper landing, just so they don't get caught up to any kind of move, finally getting that back air. Trying to continue it on with a grab and not getting anything out of it. Finally, 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 Devin, maybe around these platforms, they definitely shine the best. But getting hit by that down tilt by Mithra. And honestly, when you're at 96, Squirtle against Pyra. Destroy. There you go. I feel like we definitely need to see a little bit more of usage from the other um, Pokemon on Devin's part because that's kind of what kills you. The minute that Mouse Silver switches to Pyra is going to be the minute that no, 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 no. Oh, okay, Devin okay. just has a hard time. Ooh. Yeah. Honestly, although Squirtle's really great at like racking up damage, at the end of the day, it's one of the lightest characters and it's really difficult. Absolutely, that's looking like what it is here. You know, the thing about, like, when it comes to situations like these, you have to be super on top of your neutral, your disadvantage, because if your disadvantage is not on point, it just ends out so yeah. horrible. And no! Devin! No! Just shaking it off, honestly. I feel like that's exactly what Devin needs to do right now, because that... That was a little bit sad. You right. saw that first dog too. Look at that! And Did that range! You see that Wait, range? Hold on. Did that put still? No, what did it do? This was just a really good sequence overall. Like, look at that. Just keeping on with the edge guard and then getting the footstool and that long Pokemon freaking S smash that S smash hit from for it. So I can explain what that is. It looks like a footstool, but all you have to do is land on Squirtle while he's doing a side B and that happens. Really? Uh, mm -hmm. As I long see, as you're moving downwards and you touch him, you're good. One, Next one. Oh. Go. Okay. Thank you for that information. And but. now getting into a town and city. Definitely a different stage. Change of pace for both of these characters. Um, decent amount of platforms. And we saw Devin really thrive in platform situations mm -hmm. in the previous stop, whereas in uh, Mouse Silver was really good at their neutral game and just playing a very linear game and towards the stage, towards the ledge, and not letting Devin come back onto Ooh. stage. Speaking of which, this is looking a little scary for Devin right now because this is the exact part where we need to be really scared. This is Pyra. And if we know anything about what just happened that last game, oh, oh it's that go. stuff like that that's going to happen. Exactly what Devin needs. Devin really needs to prioritize and try to take advantage of Mithra and Pithra. Pithra, my. my it's okay. Pithra. We're having our day. <laughs> it's Saturday. This is our off day. Ooh, very nice recovery. Gonna help Devin get back onto the stage. Gonna take that nice um, down smash, but we're still in a little of a bit of a precarious situation right here. There we go. The movement that we've been wanting from, to see from Devin, the down tilt, or the what's up, the up tilt into the into the grass, and finally hitting it right now. I think Ivysaur is definitely the better choice. A little bit chunkier than Squirtle. A little, um, yeah, I mean, Squirtle would have died by that. Oh, really, really good patience on Devin's part. And 
and that is gonna take the Charizard finally coming out onto the stage. That was definitely looking like a little bit of missed DI because it looked like they DI'd a little bit hard in. But this is definitely still good for, you know, Devin because all Devin really needs to do is just get another good edge guard like he did that last time in. I don't know. Maybe we could definitely see the second game being taken by wait, Devin. Wait, wait, wait. Are we going to see a downer? Are we going to see a downer? Oh, so close. Not again, though, but not yet. Oh, going for that second Nair, but Ross Silver by being able to catch it from that. I feel like Nair is um, Devin's go-to choice. Ah, oh! Trying to go for another stage spike. Like, what happened in the first off? But not exactly taking it just yet. Back here. Oh, man. Once you're in that wall of Mithra, you need to be really careful. This is how Devin has lost many of his stats before. Grab into a forward throw. Now just waiting patiently. And there you go. The Nair from Ivysaur triumphs. I definitely really like the ways that Devin has been getting off of ledge. It's definitely very nice, and Mouse Over hasn't really been, like, taking really advantage of a lot of the things that Devin has been doing a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's like a back and forth with both of them, where they're both trying to push each other off the stage. They both can easily, like, break each other's recoveries. Um, and, Ooh. yeah, committed to the up smash and getting hit in the face with that Pyra. F smash! Absolutely. That was not what Devin needed to be able to take off the stock, but okay. you know what is that back throw? Yep, yep, yep. TNT. You know the yeet? Yep, that is exactly it. That, that be the yeet. Ooh, not going to get a punish on that, but Devin is still throwing the Squirtle turtle hands. Squirtle got some tiny paws. Are they hands or they paws? I mean, it, it feels like it. They don't look like feet. What, what would you call it? I don't know, but I wouldn't call them paws, too. <laughs> I mean, Squirtle is not a dog. Speaking this, of paws! This... Oh, paws! God. Paws! What happened Whoa! there? What happened? What's going on? Um, like, things canceled with each other, and then that happened. Oh, no, my flowers. And then that thing hit that thing. And then... A series of very oh, unfortunate wow. events. Bestie, what's going on? Very back and forth. I think this stay, this match was definitely better on Devin's side. Um, mm. They definitely held the playing field way longer than they held the playing field in the I, previous game because, you know, Devin actually did, like, it made it look like Devin um, fought back better and understood what uh, Mel Silver was going to do. And now we get into the duo zone! The small battlefield. Absolutely. I feel like definitely TNC was definitely a comfortability pick for Devin because I just feel like that's... His come to, like that's what he's most comfortable with most of the time so for sure i definitely feel like we're gonna need to see Devin kind of fight back a little bit better in neutral because a lot of the time he's losing a lot of these neutral interactions which just isn't really too good for him and he wants something that he has consistent damage and even if you don't like have a consistent like you know output of damage as long as you have a really good neutral things just happen and you can kind of like just avoid everything right and we see Devin landing incredibly aggressively and uh, mouse silver has always been finding some way to go uh, like against it whether it be an up up tilt or an up tilt when it comes to uh, mithra but now with the pyro out you know it seems like mouse silver knows exactly what devin's trying to go for and what moves they're doing i just saw another amazing commentator here Mon the go Oh my god, look how cute he is. He's walking. Ooh. He's staring at us. Menacingly. Oh Honestly, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit hard for Devin to take off this dock. You know, the, one of the most important things that I, whenever I look at Devin's play, it's that he needs to have a little bit more control over just the usage of, you know, his mons. Because, like, a lot of the time, if you don't have the right mon at the right time, then you can just miss out on so many more things that you could possibly have. And it just really can be a struggle if you don't, you know, have the right tools at the right time. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I feel like Devin is respecting Pyra too much. But at the same time, not respecting enough. Because there's so many moves that they're trying to go for, but it's actually easily punished and falls into the range of the fire of the sword, the fire sword thing of Pyra. I'm gonna get a fire fire match. Oh no. 
Wow. Oh, really good on Devin. Finally catching a move, going for that up smash, starting off with Ivysaur. Absolutely. And the thing about like matchups like these is that like it can definitely be pretty hard whenever you are playing against Pyre and Mithra because like you have to make sure your disadvantage is on point. Like you're not doing anything that can really put you in a very precarious situation where you don't really, you know, feel safe or comfortable. Mm -hmm. That's the main, main, main thing about this matchup, and I feel like Devin isn't really playing to, and that's exactly why we're in this position right here. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, Devin is playing way slower than they, than how they played in the first two games, trying to play it a little way safer. But at the same time, my Silver is able to be a bit more aggressive and not have to worry about getting punished for it, because Devin is most likely stepping away or landing really, um, landing into things that um, Mithra has um, planned already. Absolutely. Ooh. And that's just kind of how it is with the, like situations like these. You have to be super, super careful. Ooh, that was a very nice situation right there. And not going to get that edge guard right there, but we're still going to be in a little bit of a position oh, where we are going to yeah, see that's... that, that down, to, down the air to the yeah. jump smash. Yeah, let's go. Seemed like, uh, Devin was having some difficulty trying to mm -hmm. find their grounding, trying to find some better way to land, some way to just like... Mm -hmm. You know, get some sort of stage control because it was on top of them. Mouse mm -hmm. Silver did not let Devin play the way that we wanted to play. Mm -hmm. When it comes to like playing in situations like these, you have to make sure your neutral is on point. And I feel like Devin definitely had something going there, especially with Squirtle. You have to make sure that like when you are playing neutral, that you're not doing too much. You have to make sure that you're playing as much switchies as you can, dash mm -hmm. in and out as much as you want to, because you just end up in situations where it can be super hard for you to do anything right. and you just have situations where your disadvantage is on point that down there to up smash is gonna do stuff like that to you mm -hmm. it'll it'll catch you mm -hmm. it'd be it'd be catching you bestie yeah and also when you're like in a struggle you're like not sure mm -hmm. what to do you're two stocks down you're high in percentage well actually like 80 is not that high in percentage high in terms against pyra like that mm -hmm. took ivysaur out at like that took him out at 60. Mm -hmm. 68 goodness mm -hmm. 